Six o'clock. Thanks for waking up with us. I'm Barbara Campos. Some of these refugee children can run from feelings of anxiety, depression, or post-traumatic stress disorder after a long trip. Les dan este libro que contiene pasajes religiosos y palabras de ánimo. And Border Patrol agents arrested several commercial bus passengers for attempting to use fake documents. Iced coffee run, you might as well because traffic isn't going to be a problem. That's the ansiedad. Y como tú puedes ser de apoyo para mamá. Los menores se divierten, pero aún así es difícil ocultar sus sentimientos de ansiedad, depresión. As a powerful category four storm, residents are still finding life extremely difficult. We started the week with a good glute workout, and now Ali from Biofit Laredo is back. You know what's funny? DiGiorno always reminds me of Super Mario Brothers. Like, DiGiorno. <laughs> okay. I always say it like that. You probably haven't had the chance to notice this memorial that's honoring an agent in green. Okay. Make a move and then push and pull. Hey. Ah, okay. Recently, I just became a giraffe expert. Here are some facts. Did you know giraffes spend, <laughs> spend most of their lives standing? Accuracy might not be all there. Okay. Oh, no, yeah. it wasn't. So it was the very last time that you see this water tank that's been standing in our community for nearly 50 years. Oh, uh, meet for coffee. Yeah, yes, I believe that. the most coffee, the best coffee, actually. And it's just a, a very sad day for the Gateway City as well as for the nation because today we, we say our final goodbyes to the, the Marine that lost his life. Bill Ortega, which has been a driver with LISD for 18 years now. Mr. Ortega, today is a big day. How are you feeling? And this reuniones durante el fin de semana causaron preocupación ante nuevos contagios. So believe it or not, Ruben, I have an uncle that made his own I just feel like if it's not dark, it just won't kick in, you know? Governor Greg Abbott came down to the Gateway City yesterday for the grand opening of a massive distribution center. I'm more of a 10,000 steps a day type of person. Yeah. Yeah. Kohl's has joined the growing list of major retailers who plan to be closed on Thanksgiving Day. Very refreshing. It's the first thing that came to my mm. mind. <laughs> so we're gonna hold this here. Somewhere. It hurts more. Yeah. Are promising a legal fight after President Joe Biden on Thursday imposed stringent new vaccine rules. You That's really don't need to be vaccine. like yes, like it's just so oddly satisfying. Yes, yeah, it's, 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 it's just it's real so ingredients, but yeah. so good. It's almost like you're having one of his heroes says all he wants is for his father to rest in peace. Things are slowly and smoothly picking up on this Monday morning. For these leaders, their day begins with prayer. A message of hope is what Abel Bazan wants to spread. Abel is not only a counselor, but he knows firsthand the battle to wean off drugs. I was addicted to alcohol after over eight years of my life. At the life with no kind of order, no kind of direction, in and out of trouble, in and out of jails. Abel found his healing after stepping foot in a Christian-led recovery center called Heart for the City Home. They treat people with addiction through prayer and spiritual counseling. The nonprofit organization remains open through donations. Six days a week, the group of gentlemen approach people out in public. They hand out this pamphlet with religious passages and words of encouragement. They also accept donations to help with their mission. Emilio Gonzalez is the group's founder. He leads through his testimony. I got addicted to cocaine and, and, and crack, and it was, so, it was so intense that I was using crack every day. 30 years ago, he says he was in a dark place at his lowest. His faith helped him overcome addiction and restore hope in his life. If it wasn't for the Lord, where would I be? I'd be in a crazy house or dead in a cemetery with no family. I mean, just thoroughly, completely destroyed. Now he ministers to former addicts. The center also provides food and housing. As they celebrate recovery, they encourage newcomers to put their trust in a higher power to overcome addiction. Drugs and alcohol is not their problem. We go down at the, to the root of the problem, and it's a heart that needs to change. And, and, and we point to God, man. That's our job, is to lead people to Christ, man, and let people know, man, that, 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 that there is hope, man. So if you would like to donate to the program or simply need more information, you can... Honduras, ¿y qué extrañas de Honduras? ¿Qué te gusta de Honduras? Tus tíos. Tus tíos. Y tus abuelos.
thousands of miles away from home and family. These shy children talk about what they miss the most. Their little eyes have seen a world some of us will never see. And at such a tender age, enduring dangers most adults will never experience. That's where Jorge Vargas comes in. Niños y niñas, van a jugar un rato, regalos. Pueden venir para acá una sombrita. He volunteers at the Holding Institute. He sees the emotional trauma these children go through even during playtime. Agachar, parar. Llegan con demasiado estrés, a veces llorando, y muchas veces uno como padre no mira eso. A migrant himself from Nuevo Laredo. Hold his heartbreaks knowing how much these children suffer with their parents to live the American dream. Ellos vienen cruzando varias fronteras y me cuentan los peligros y créanme que la vida real es más fuerte la vida real que lo que pueda pasar en una novela una película. Since October, Border Patrol agents have come across 1,400 migrant families in the Laredo sector. Officials say the risks are huge, especially for kids. Laredo has more deaths typically than anywhere on the border. In the past years, that's been the case. And I think that speaks to just kind of the, the, the issue here. There's a lot of, of uh, brush. There's a lot of dangerous areas. It appears to be excitement in this playground here at the Holding Institute. But some of these refugee children can't run from feelings of anxiety, depression, or post-traumatic stress disorder after a long trip. Jorge says when kids arrive, they are shaken. He wants to show these children that they're safe now, despite their uncertain future. Miras que va a estar más bonito para acá. Te va a gustar mucho. Bienvenida a Estados Unidos. For KGNS News, Barbara Campos.